It's colliding at the moment. Let, let's talk George. future. Let's talk future. Yep. Arnie, do you think, from your point of view, as a Democrat and an Obama supporter, mm -hmm. even though you are a critic, that it wouldn't be mm -hmm. is it possible for America, and therefore the rest of us who have to cop the spin-off from all of that, to draw a line mm -hmm. under 2009 and start all over again, pretend that this last 12 months didn't even happen? What, what's, what's the way to go from here? If it's well, as bad I as you guys Barack are pointing Obama out. Obama has to realize is, is that he is, he's talked about consensus and bipartisanship. It ain't going to happen. So what he needs to do is he needs to lead. He needs to corral his Democrats. He needs to point to the American people and explain to them that things like health care reform are about job creation and about creating a safety net for all Americans that will save us money, take the pressure off of business, and ultimately create jobs. Peter wants to talk about jobs. Let's talk about jobs. But the government has a role to play in this because we know that the health care system right now is draining the coffers of everyone and making us uncompetitive. Yeah. He has to walk away from the Republicans whose only answer is no and he has to tell the American people we need to resolve this not just because I care about your health but because I care about the underpinnings of this economy. He has to show leadership. He's been waiting for consensus. He ain't going to get it. Wake up and smell the coffee problem, and start leading. The problem is he's leading us in the wrong direction. He's leading us over the edge of a cliff. We can't afford these grandiose health care programs. The country is already broke. This is just going to accelerate that. We are heading, the real economic crisis is in front of us. It's not behind us. Before Barack Obama leaves office, there will be a currency crisis. The U.S. dollar will collapse and prices in this country for consumer goods are going to go ballistic. And so will interest rates. And we're going to be living in an economy with unemployment closing it on 20 percent and double-digit inflation no. and double-digit interest rates. This is economic ruin that is coming. And it's because because of the very policies that, 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 you're, that you're wanting Barack Obama uh, to, to, uh, to pursue. Peter, I know, you, I know, you know you're known throughout the land, and even here, as Dr. Doom, but you are stuck with him, like it or lump it, for the next three years. So mm -hmm. are you suggesting, you're, you're talking as though the U.S. is going to go down the drain under Obama. What's the alternative? Well, it is. No. That's the problem. We're, con so what's we're the alternative? continuing. Barack Obama is pursuing the Bush agenda. That's unfortunate. And, and Ben Bernanke is doing exactly what Alan Greenspan did. We are repeating all the same mistakes because none of our politicians want to level with the American public and tell them the truth about the gigantic hole that their policies have placed us in. Well, we need to go back to we, a real economy. We go to the election of just the other day. Unfortunately, we've been living in a fantasy land and we've been living off the productivity and the Peter? savings of the rest of the world. Peter? We are going, as I said, to a real Wind economic up, crisis Peter. in this country that's going to make what happened in George. 2008 look like, you know, the roaring 20s by comparison. George, the the, look, the American people are disgusted. They don't trust either party. It's that somehow they think that you can turn an economy around overnight. What, what was left for Barack Obama were such enormous holes. And the problem with the holes were they hadn't even expanded yet when he walked into office. And so the, the issue right now is that the, he needs the time to fix it, but he needs a party that he can work with. But and frankly, he's he needs making Republicans the holes bigger. to grow How up can too. he fix them when he's making them bigger? He's doing, he, he is trying to get the country to spend more money. He's trying to get more credit to, for people to buy cars and people to buy homes. We need Americans to stop buying cars. We are broke. The, pro the problem right now, George, is that, is that the finance industry is now not investing in the American economy. They're investing in each other. Uh, if we believe our treasurer and our prime minister, we are the only Western country to have escaped the recession. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to uh, migrate and to I'm, Australia? And I'm buying stocks in Australia. <laughs> Truly. Well, and, and, it's, and it's interesting. Uh, have you addressed your health care problem that we have? I mean, I'm just wondering, has, has your socialism with health care undermined the Australian economy? Obviously not, Peter. Maybe you should learn from the Australians what they figured out how to do and replicate it in the United States. A, a lot of countries have made the mistake of socializing medicine. The problem in the United oh. States is, is we've done something actually worse. You know, by subsidizing the insurance industry to the extent that we do, and by making uh, uh, health care part of employment, we've actually caused health care prices to go up even faster with our form of socialism than other parts of the other countries have with theirs. We could go on, clearly. It's just a terrible shame that neither of you have got an opinion to jangle between you. <laughs> I don't know why we bothered to invite you on the program, because neither of you got anything to say for yourself. But thank you very much for bringing us up to date with a great year for Barack Obama. Clearly a great year, as far as you're concerned. But we'll talk to you again. Ciao. So long. Thank you. Arnie Arneson and uh, Peter Schiff uh, in conversation. That was me, by the way, the uh, one in the middle looking a bit... Uh
the mused. Coming up, hundreds of World War I diggers exhumed in France, but can we ever unearth all those who died? Although there was appalling loss of life, literally on the spot where we're standing now, on the 19th of July 1916, you can't have a monument everywhere.